Tilly from Tilly and the Buttons and today I thought I would share with you some of the things that I have been making for myself recently. I haven't done one of these videos since July 2020 I think, so two years ago and that was, I think that was the first time I'd actually done a video like that showing some things that I've been making and um, you guys seem to like it so I thought I would do another one. So the first thing that I have to show you is a Lyra shirt dress that I made in this beautiful Cloud9 rayon, which is called Hidden Signs. So I bought this fabric from Hey So Sister. I, it, this was a case of completely falling in love with the fabric. I became obsessed with it and sort of had it on my Pinterest board for ages and eventually bit the bullet and bought it. I think what the reason that I hesitated to buy it was um, because the print is quite sort of mystical with the eyes and the beetles and the stars and I'm not a spiritual person <laughs> in the slightest but in the end I caved because I absolutely love the colours, it's got some of my favourite colours, this vibrant turquoise, this beautiful cornflower blue and this kind of pinky lilac on a lovely darker background and I just love the sort of angular print the design of it is just gorgeous um so the fabric itself is oh, it's such a dream to sew the rayon it's like it's it's substantial enough like a cotton to be really easy to sew it's not sort of like slippy slidey but it has a really beautiful drape to it so you get that lovely flow and shape um so the pattern that I made is the Lyra shirt dress, which is one of our patterns. I went for this version on the cover, which is the midi length version with the long sleeves, and I added the waist tie as well. Um, you can also make it as a knee length version with short sleeves, and you can leave off the waist tie if you prefer the sort of more voluminous look. So this is a really lovely dress for um for transitional seasons but also I have found that I've been wearing it quite a bit this summer because you know let's face it in the UK summer can be quite cool um so it's just one of those nice dresses to wear with trainers um where you get a little bit of coverage but it's still nice and cool and floaty and then I'm sure I will wear it a lot in the autumn as well um with maybe tights and boots and then even when it gets colder I can layer it up over the thermal top so I think I'm going to get lots and lots of wear out of this so this kind of I think this make sort of reignited my sojo a little bit when I've been going through a really busy period when um I just wasn't really making things for myself because I was so busy with work I was obviously sewing for work um and then you know baby's not sleeping childcare being really full on and everything um but I really wanted to make this so I just broke it down and sewed in sort of 10 20 minute bursts here and there where I could so it did take quite a while to make the pattern itself isn't particularly tricky it doesn't really take very long to make but it took me ages because I did it in such short bursts but actually it was really nice just to take my time and while I wasn't working on it I had it sort of hanging up and um, so it brought me a lot of joy just seeing this beautiful dress that I was making and this gorgeous fabric so yeah I'm really pleased with it so the Lyra pattern in case you did want to make one yourself at the time of filming I think it's out of stock on our online shop however it is at the printers right now so the print version is coming back very soon and actually it's going to be even better because going to be printed in the whole size range from UK 6 to 34. Currently you can buy the UK 6 to 34 as a PDF to download and print at home or send to a copy shop. Um, but yeah, if you want the print version, then it will be back very, very soon. So watch this space. And the next things I've got to show you are my Coralie swimsuits. So the Coralie swimsuit and bikini is a pattern that we launched recently, early summer 2022, in collaboration with the lingerie and swimwear designer Evie Lalouve. Um, so these were swimsuits that I made while we were developing the pattern to test out the pattern, the instructions. Um, so the first one I went for was the sort of simple version without the ruffle, the one piece with the higher back. Um, I did add the shelf bra, but I didn't add the cups because I wanted a bit of support, but so it to be not too restrictive. I still wanted it to be 
quite light um, to wear. So this was actually my second attempt because my first one, lesson learned, I got some fabric that just didn't have the right stretch percentage. So when I finished it and put it on, it was just far too tight. So that's something that I did wrong and learned from it while making this. Another thing I kind of did wrong while I made this one. So this one is the right stretch percentage. Um, and this fabric is the mint gingham that we're currently selling on the Tilly and the Buttons shop. So you can buy it there if you want it. You can make exactly the same one. Um, we've also got this in other colorways as well. So the second thing that I did kind of wrong was I tried it on before I'd inserted the elastic to the neckline and the straps. Um, and I, so I felt that the front armhole was gaping quite a lot. So a way to fix that is to gather it in a little bit when you attach the elastic here. So essentially you're kind of stretching the elastic a little bit rather than not applying too much tension. Um, I definitely overcompensated and did it a little bit too much and then realized once I had attached the elastic to the neckline and the straps that I really didn't need to do it that much. So it is gathering in a little bit here. Um, it's not so much that you would notice, I don't think, or it doesn't bother me anyway. And it's something where in previous, and swimwear patterns that I've made before, you are told to kind of gather the fabric in and stretch it. Um, whereas on this one, we don't suggest you do that unless you um, want to do it for fitting purposes like this. But I think I did it a little bit too much, but it's not, it doesn't bother me. But again, it was another lesson learned. So I did learn quite a lot while developing this pattern from Hannah, the designer, who is an expert, which is why we brought her in so she could share her expertise with sewing swimwear with you. Um, and if you are a little bit nervous about sewing swimwear or you want to pick up some extra tips and tricks, then I really highly recommend our online workshop, Learn to Sew Swimwear, where Hannah will just hold your hand through the entire process and you will learn so much along the way. So as soon as I'd finished this one, I wanted to make another one because I love it. I love the finished result. It looks really nice on. I wore it loads on our holiday, which we had very early this summer. Um, and I also think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it down the local pool as well. So um, as soon as I finished it, I wanted to make another one. So apologies, I just got this out of the drawer before filming and realized that it's a bit crumpled. So it's not looking its best. Um, I think I just need to give it a little bit of a rinse to get those crumples out of it, but I haven't had time. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a nicer photo. It's exactly the same version as the one on the cover. So again, it's the one piece. This time it's got the lower scoop back and I added the gorgeous neckline ruffle. Of course, again, I added shelf bra, but not the cups. Um, so this is another fabric that you can find in our online shop. And this one is a recycled swimwear fabric in lilac. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I felt just like really, really good wearing this on holiday. Let's like run around the pool with the ruffle very sort of on trend at the moment but just looks kind of like glamorous and gorgeous um and I was just felt really proud as well that I was wearing a swimsuit that I'd made myself like how cool is that you can make your own swimsuit so I keep a little note on my phone with sewing projects that I want to make and this is a project that I had on that list for years finally got around to making it and I'm so glad I did firstly because I love them and secondly because I get so much wear out of these. I've worn them probably three days a week ever since I made them. So it's the Sophia trousers, which is a pattern in my book, Make It Simple. And I made them in this beautiful rifle paper coat rayon. It's, uh, what's it called? Garden Party Vines. You might be able to still find it online. I've had it in my stash for a little while. I didn't have very much, but this pattern doesn't actually take much fabric, which is really nice. They only took an hour to make, as the title of the book, make it, it's from this book, make it simple. Title of the book suggests, quick and easy, what's it called? Easy, speedy sewing projects to stitch up in an afternoon. They're really, really simple to make. They're really quick. They're very beginner friendly. So it is, I'll show you the page in the book. Oh, where is it? So it's these, the Sophia trousers. So they're kind of like cropped culotte style trousers they've got an elasticated waist but the elastic 
only actually goes around the back and the sort of the side front so it's got a nice flat front so you don't get the fabric bunching up over your tummy which is nice they're super floaty they're just a dream to wear and i just throw them on with all kinds of different tops and vests and with this fabric as well i love the fact that it's got lots of different colors in it so i can pick out things that match it from my wardrobe like um yellow or um blue um i wear it with red sandals yellow sandals um trainers so yeah they're just like really versatile i've been getting so much wear out of them so i'd forgotten how quick the sophia trousers were to make so as soon as i finished making them i wanted to make another pair but i thought this time i'll make the dungarees version which is shown here on the lovely karen arthur and on the cover on me as well um so this is what i'm wearing now so i had this in my stash for a little while from rainbow fabrics kilburn it's um like a kind of mary quant style 60s flower print which is one of my favorite motifs so i had to have it um and at first i thought i was going to make it into a dress but actually um, i'm really pleased that i made it into dungarees because i just love them I, oh, they're just they're so comfy, they're really nice and light and floaty. They're basically like secret pajamas to wear. Um, and I think the print goes really well with the pattern. So the Sophia pattern, I think it's the most popular one in the Make It Simple book. I think there's, at the moment, there's over 2000 uses of the Sewing Sophia hashtag on Instagram. So go and have a look at that. I've got a decent amount of this fabric left. So I'm wondering what I should make with it, maybe a shirt or an indigo dress I'm not sure if you've got any ideas then leave a comment below I'd like to hear what you think I should make and speaking of dungarees I made another pair of Erin dungarees so this is a pattern that we released earlier this year and um, it's very different vibe to the Sophia's so the Sophia's have got a little dart on the bodice they've got the square neck they've got a little waist tie and they're sort of wide leg clot style trousers um the errands they've got a little bit of shaping from the princess scenes on the front bodice but they're much more sort of easy fitting loose fitting overall they're kind of inspired by the sort of street style ready to wear dungas that i've been living in um they've yeah and they've got a, a more of a tapered leg and they're just sort of like a throw it on vibe and then with the straps you can either pull them through at the front and tie them in a knot and um, pull them through buttonholes or you can um, tie them up in a bow at the shoulder, which is really cute. So these ones I made in a sort of rose needle cord that I bought from Sony Sunshine. Um, I've also made another pair in a soft blue ponty, and then I've got a, another pair that's next on my sewing table in a kind of aqua linen. So it's, it's one of the things that I love about this pattern that is so versatile in terms of the fabrics that you can pair with it and the different fabrics will give it a totally different vibe. Um, so with this, I've put, added the little Dungas All Day label that we gave, we gave these away with the first batch of printed patterns that people bought from my online shop. And then um, the pattern has a lined bodice. So for this one, I decided not to line it in the needle cord, but I went with a contrast fabric. So this is some Liberty Tanner Lawn that I had left over from, um, I think it was a Nina Lee Bakerloo blouse that I made. Um, so I had a bit left over and I just thought, oh, that'll actually go really nicely because it's got the same sort of soft pink in it. So it's just like a lovely little detail that only you know about when you can line your mermaids in. Um, some leftover fabric. So these are super, super comfy. They're great for just like throwing on at the weekend when I work from home, when I'm looking after my kids. I love wearing them um, either with just a t-shirt. In the cooler months as well, I'll wear them with like a Freya turtleneck would look really nice. Even a shirt I think would look super cute under these or something with a statement collar maybe. So yeah, getting lots and lots of wear out of those. So that is everything that I have to show you for now. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, then do let me know, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you like it, then I will try and make more of these videos 
in the future. So what's next on my sewing table? Oh, I've got something behind me. I'm working on a an indigo dress at the moment in gingham um, and I'm embroidering the sleeves. I'm doing the, um, the version from the add-on pattern where it's got the midi tier and then it's got the puff sleeve. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. And then I'm also, oh, I mentioned earlier, I'm also making another pair of Erin Dungarees, this time in an aqua linen, which I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this summer. So whatever you're making, happy sewing and thanks for watching. Bye.